Welcome back. The time now is 614. We're calling all bookworms because it's time for one of my favorite segments, Chapter Chat. I'm joined by Chris Warren from the Dothan Houston County Library System. And Chris, we're celebrating Black History Month this month, of course. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your selection and how it ties into Black History Month. Sure thing. Uh, so this month's selection for Chapter Chat is called All That She Carried, The Journey of Ashley Sack, A Black Family Keepsake by Taya Miles. And this is a nonfiction story. Mm -hmm. I know a little bit about the history mm -hmm. behind it, but for those who might not know, what is Ashley Sack? So I'm really glad you said that. This is, I want to point out this is a nonfiction book, yeah. so this is not a novelization of anything. This is this is a historical book, right? Uh, and it's about uh, what is a, an artifact commonly called Ashley's Sack. And in 1850, there was a woman named Rose. She was an enslaved woman in South Carolina who knew that her nine-year-old daughter, Ashley, was about to be sold into slavery. And so Rose very hastily, and as quickly as she could, packed a bag, uh, a sack of things for her daughter to take with her on her journey wherever it was that she was going. And included in this bag, this just cloth bag, was a tattered dress, three handfuls of pecans, and a braid of Rose's hair. And the she, she gave that to her daughter, and over centuries, uh, this bag has the, the tale of this bag and how it's been passed down from generation to generation, how it actually got lost for a while, ended up in a museum and all that, uh, is told through this book. And just that alone makes you want to pick it up mm -hmm. and, and read so much more about it. Of course, it is a nonfiction, mm -hmm. but tell me a little bit about some of the themes that are brought out through the tale of this bag traveling all over the country and ending up in the Smithsonian. Sure. So one of the things that I think is really interesting is, you know, when we think about history, we think about presidents and wars yeah. and, and all these big things. This is what I would call a small story with a huge impact because you've got a mother and a daughter and you've got all these generations of black women who, who come after it. And you, but you see the, the trauma and the fear and of course the horror of, of slavery in the United States, but you have this moment of love between a, a mother and a daughter uh, in, in, within that, that backdrop. And it's very telling how, uh, how that love has been transcended through all of these different generations. And it's interesting that one generation or a few generations later is actually Ashley's granddaughter, I have to make sure I get all those right, inscribed or uh, 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 knitted or, or sewed onto the bag sort of a telling of exactly what had happened. And one of the phrases that is on the bag is, uh, is the grandmother's, the, the, the Rose's request, that the bag be filled with love always, oh. which is just really, really telling when you think about um, of, of that, that moment and, that, and how it rippled out from there. And I love that point that you make that in this moment of obviously fear and you know, you can only really imagine what was going through her mind as a mother mm -hmm. in that moment, the things that she chose, mm -hmm. a lock of her own hair to have a piece of her with her daughter always is just so beautiful. Oh, I just, there's so much that we could talk about yes, with this and, book. And Miles does a good job too, just of, of kind of unpacking the bag metaphorically, of yeah. kind of going through each item that was in the bag, the pecans, the dress, the braid of hair, and explaining why it would have been relevant and why it was important. So it's not, you know, it's, it's really fascinating and you get this, this good snapshot of, 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 of life in the 1850s and what it was like for some people, particularly enslaved people, mm -hmm. and what that has meant for generations beyond that. I know in our coverage of Black History Month, we've talked about the fact that Black History Month shouldn't just be a month. Mm -hmm. It should be celebrated just in history. Mm -hmm. And I think reading this book would be a great way to understand that and learn a little bit more about that period in time and, and what those people went through. Absolutely. Absolutely. Chris, thanks so much for joining us. We so appreciate it. Thank you, Caroline.